guys how are you it's your girl kira here and today we are back with another try on haul from shein but this is fall so i know the girlies have been asking oh my god where's the fall shein haul where's the fall shein haul it's right here booze just so you guys know i just bought a bunch of pieces they're not necessarily complete thoughts yet so you're not going to see like full outfits um so just make sure you're following me on instagram so you guys can see how i sell these pieces for fall but just so you guys know I'm wearing a small in most. I usually wear a small top, medium bottom. So that is my size and you'll see like the smalls and the sizes and all of that up here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. First up, we have just a little simple crop top. I feel like we all need a simple crop top in our wardrobe to go with like everything. I love that it has like the thicker straps. This crop top was like four bucks. Like you can't beat that. So I love having this as like a quick little layering piece. I normally don't gravitate towards crop tops but i feel like because we're in fall and we're going to be doing some layering and some heavy lifting i just feel as though we just need like some of these pieces i'm like you wouldn't catch me going outside exactly like this like i need something to cover up you know but i love it it's very thin it's very lightweight super quick super easy then we have these pants here absolutely love these pants when i i got these already and i put these on tiktok and i think i put them on an instagram story and i got so much feedback from it being a dupe of a designer called fay noel and she's a black woman owned business and i just want to give her, her flowers and give her, her credit the original version is all her um i think she just made a copy of it um i mean they're really gorgeous pants but i rather support the actual designer herself Next up, we have this cutie little denim acid wash crop jacket. It's so fun. I love everything about this. I don't know what side is the top and what side is the bottom, but they're both like the same. So you just throw it on and call it a day. But I am really feeling acid wash lately. I don't know if you guys saw my concert video, but I had like some acid wash cargo pants. I got some acid, wa acid wash tees. So I'm really feeling acid wash. I feel like it's coming back for me. Love, love, love this color, like beige brownie color. Um, I got her in a medium. All my outerwear is in a medium. I like that like looser fit. Plus my arms are a little bit bigger in proportion to like my top size. So I always gravitate towards the medium. But I love her. Something quick to just throw on, knock the chill off. Um, and I love just like this white with this crop jacket. I don't know about necessarily <laughs> with these pants, but I do just like this top up. <laughs> but super cutie jacket. Mm. All right, this maxi leopard skirt, so cute. Love her. She's in a medium. She has pockets, invisible zipper on the side. I love that it has like this little band right here that's nice and flat. And then it flares out with like a little bit of pleating. So I think this is super cute. I love her so much. I really feel like she deserves a moment of like a black top, you know, something like maybe some jewelry up here, some zhuzh, really dress her up for like a brunch moment. But what do you guys think? Is this too much pattern? Do you guys feel as though like the leopard print is not for you? Um, I would love to hear your thoughts on like the trends uh, for 2024 because this is definitely like what they're saying it's going to be in all fall. I really love this set online. When I saw it, the pictures look amazing. But when I got it, I was like, hmm, something's off. So I'm not really a fan of this length. I feel like I never know like the right shoes to wear with this length. So for me, this these types of pants just never work. I really just wish that they hit the floor and I can throw on some heels and call it a day. Then, cause like this outfit to me is something that I do want to wear with heels, not necessarily flats. So that is the only thing that's like throwing me off with the pants but i do like the material i do like how soft it is i'm five four so if you're like five feet and under these will hit you perfectly um yeah and also too the it makes the butt look kind of good but i feel like the pockets are too high maybe i'm just crazy then we also have this vest and this vest is really cute i like it with something underneath I would not wear this by itself like in just like nothing underneath because I would want to wear this open but if you look right and we're talking about proportions and sizes when I have my this vest open and I have like this wide leg pant I look straight up and down there's nothing defining the waist to bring it in um, to make me look more hourglassy so that's why I like it open and I would not wear this clothes because it would chop off my waist in half. But other than that, what do you guys think? I like the color. These are all faux pockets. I like the buttons on these. Really cute, right? Um, but let me know your thoughts down below. 
cutie little baby graphic tee. It says espresso martini. Oh, it's so cute. By the way, I've actually never had espresso martini before. So if you guys have had one, y'all want to tell me what's tea, if it's good or if it's like not even worth the hype, just let me know down below because I really, really want to try it. Anywho, this tea is in a size small. She's still a little loose. So if you're a medium and you want her to be like <sighs> tight, go down a size because um, I did not know that she was going to be giving loosey goosey. I thought it was going to be like a snug fit, but I love her because she's a neutral graphic tee and I just love graphic tees now. Also too, back again with another acid wash piece. These are some really comfortable joggers that have um, the acid wash, have like the pleat going down the front and it has pockets. I really love these wide leg joggers, by the way, like me and these go hand in hand. They're perfect for my um, pickup for Ave. I walk to go get her sometimes or I'm sitting in the car and it's like a little nippy on my legs. Like this is like perfect for any weather. And um, yeah, I love these. Online, they look like they were gonna be just a little bit more wider and giving a little bit more flow and ease, but they're not. It's okay. I'm 5'4", so you can kind of see where the pants hit. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. We love an all black moment, okay? And here it is. Absolutely love this. I don't know if I will wear these two together, and I'll tell you why, but... um. Let's start off with the top. I love this top. This top is really nice. It has like the lapels. It feels kind of like a blazer slash peplum, um, but it's really sexy. I love how the sleeves flare out. I think that's a really cute detail on there. Um, and then it has like the three little buttons to keep you all closed in. And then it's very open and it kind of can flow out. So this is a top that I would prefer to wear with jeans, not necessarily these black trousers because the black trousers give it dressy up work and I kind of want to make this a super casual moment. These pants are really nice. I like them. The material on these are like a ponte. So what does that mean? It has a lot of stretch and they're thick. So going to the fall season, I feel like we do need those. When I first looked at these, I thought these were like a straight wide leg, but they're actually flare and I'm not mad at it. As you can see, I'm 5'4", so where they come down on the floor, right? So if I was to wear heels, maybe not so much, but flat, I could definitely get away with because they like stop right there. But the material on this is super nice. Like, and then this Eep top is super nice as well. So the reason why I won't wear these two together is because the blacks are off. And for some reason that just makes me frantic. So I wouldn't do that, but um, I do like these two separately. You know how when you get something in the mail and you're super excited about how it looks online, so you're super excited to get in and then when you finally get it on, it doesn't disappoint, baby, this is it. <laughs> I freaking love it. It is a super vintage style blazer with the gold hardware. The buttons are so nice. Like, look at that. Yummy. I love this little pin tuck feature right here that's here in the front. And it's also in the back as well. This is a little bit more expensive for um, Shein. This is their like misguided line. I think um, Shein bought misguided. So this is from them. Love the sleeves. Also, too, this has some shoulder pads. So it's nice and big. I can just see myself doing this with like some jeans, a red lip, and like calling it a day. It looks a little big, but honestly, I'm probably gonna layer it, so I didn't want it to be like super snug. But this is a um, small. So the fact that this is a small and it's still big, baby, I can I can dig it. I could dig it, but I love her. What do you guys think? I have already styled this top for Instagram. So if you haven't seen, please, I'm gonna link down below this, how I styled it, so cute. But this is a sleeveless long line sweater. It has buttons all the way down. So you can really button it as much as you want or as little as you want. I decided to do only three buttons right here and just have it flare open. I have a size small, so it really won't look complimentary if I buttoned any more longer because any more buttons because it's gonna pull really far out um, because it's a little snug on my hips. And you see how this is like gaping right here? It's gonna look like that, but even worse around my hips. So I absolutely love this. She's so good for work. She's so good for like a casual moment. I love this style so much. I got her in this sleeveless one. I got a black long sleeve one that I styled in my fall lookbook, um, which I'm gonna link to. And then I also got her in blue and gray. It's like a bluish gray. And then I also got her in another style that I'm gonna show you next. But like, y'all, I am obsessed with this long line sweater because like when the chill is chilling, okay, we have some options to layer this um, and wear it for like right now. So really cute piece love her and the material on this is like that 
ribby a knit vibe but she's super lightweight super flowy so love her another piece i'm so excited about y'all is this long sweater so i just showed y'all the black right but this is now the beige look at the material on that she's so yummy she's so gorgeous i love how long this comes down right this is a small as well um this is pulling a little bit here but i'm glad that i got her in a small because if i would have got her in a medium i feel like she would have been like a little bit too wide and boxy so i'm just gonna put like a little pin here to make sure like this looks nice flush and straight but i do love these buttons it's only three of them like the little tortoise button right super cute um and i love that in this opportunities like so right now i have it with these pants and these are like a nice work pant so you can see how you can get away with this for work but maybe like with another layer obviously underneath a bodysuit you can have it open you can wear it over like one of those like skims inspired dresses just to like knock the chill off like honestly the options here are super endless but i love everything about it it's so good y'all a sweater that I want to live in for forever. I feel like it's a blanket. It's so yummy on. It's such a vibe. It's so good. Like everything about it just screams like I need to have her in 6011 colors. So I love how like it's a wrap style top. <clears throat> I love how the buttons give me some contrast. I love how it also has buttons on the inside too to kind of like keep this part in place because I tried to wear it really quick when I first got it out of the package um, without snapping the buttons right here. And let me tell you, it got a little wonky. The flap under here was doing its own thing, but I love it. I have the sleeves hiked up, but it comes down nice and long. Long, so you have a lot of length on the sleeve but she's so good so good and now i need her in like black i need her in a gray i need her in a million colors yum so cute like a modest fashion like a modest dress love her for church a lot of people always say give me some church outfits i actually don't go to church guys i'm more of a spiritual person if you will i don't go in person um but i do love this how covered she is but also giving body but also giving very cute sexy she's demure okay i feel like being covered is also sexy as well so don't mind me but really because she's such a neutral because she's so monotone up and down i really want encourage you guys to go heavy on the accessories give yourself like a nice little cuff give yourself like some chunky necklaces or you know a chunky earring but she is a really cute and also too i would definitely do like a pop of color heel or maybe a metallic and a, and a pop of color uh bag but love 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 her so cute so sick now my job is to show you guys the good the bad the ugly and to me this is not good this is bad this is the ugly for me so sorry um just want to preface it with that i'm not a fan from on the line like on the website this looks super cute the material looked yummy it looked creamy it looked rich it looked deluxe and um now that i got it in i just feel like it's very cheaply made i don't like how the material is stuck at the end i don't i don't i don't this is so thin like you can see my gold bracelets <laughs> underneath like it has the key holes i thought was cute but yeah just everything about this just screams not today not ever so uh mm -mm, i can't do her she's not gonna be a part of my Virgo. i wanted to do like another virgo dress as like birthday dress guest haul and incorporate like a bunch of different brands but baby this ain't it mm -mm, this ain't it all right, guys, I'm on hold with my doggy hospital. So give me two seconds. Um, if they come back on, I have to hang up the phone. But really quickly, I love this dress. So I actually got something similar from Amazon recently. And around the waist, it was just way too big and this is exactly how i want it to fit when you have so much gathers and so much material up here at the neckline you want everything else to be like super fitted so love everything about this i just wish it came down a smidge longer i mean like by a hair you know um but i really think she's so cute the sleeves too also flare out a little bit um it's not tight to the actual wrist and i kind of wish it was bear with me y'all it is that time and i'm just feeling a little bloated and i don't have the right underwear on but love her i think she's really cute love this material too like this little pulling detail is very demure very cute see 
almost done here and I'm super sad about it, but look at this maxi dress. This is so long, it's hitting the ground. I definitely need some heels with it. I love how she could be worn off the shoulder to one side, off the shoulders of both sides like she is giving a moment now it is a little bit wider than i would have liked and anticipated so i think what i'm gonna do is belt it just so i can cinch that waist and break up some of this um pattern this you know what this pattern reminds me of i'm not gonna lie it reminds me of um static on the tv i know i know i don't want that to discourage you but that's just what it reminds me of but if you're looking for something thick something that's going to keep you warm something that's going to make you look sissy you know i think this is a really nice dress but let me go ahead and belt it and show you guys what i mean Although I don't recommend it with this belt. I'm gonna link the belt down below just in case you want it for like other reasons. But like just something thick black to chop it up. But I love, oh my God. And honestly, y'all, I'm starting to become a fan of like gray and gold. I think it's so like genius. I don't know why I wasn't doing it before. But like I do, I kind of like the belt now with this. But what do you guys think, right? To like break up some of that color and to accentuate your waist because with this material it can get a little wonky and i don't want you to lose that that okay if you are still here right i just just shoot me a comment say something like i got you you know say something like still here because like thank you i appreciate you number one and two it means a lot to me so Thank you. All right, stepping back, this is the last piece. This is a maxi coat. It looks like a trench coat. It gives trench coat feels, but it doesn't have like that belt to go around. And I feel like the way this is styled, it is meant to be worn open, giving really like dominant. It has the shoulder pads, it has the functional pockets. Um, and then, you know, another feature that it has that's really cute, like this really high split in the back. I think that's really cute. Um, I can totally see myself wearing her with some jeans. Jeans. I'm sorry guys this lighting is so wonky today it's like why is the sun going in and out um, I can totally see wearing her with like some jeans and um, a simple top and really just making the base of this outfit relaxed and comfortable to I so the coat can like steal the show but yeah that is it let me know what you guys think what's your favorite piece what are you gravitating towards what's something that you're like oh i really need to have that like i really want to just like hear your thoughts it takes two seconds to leave a comment so please 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 let me know what you're feeling um and i will see you guys real soon y'all know i have a new video that comes out every wednesday and saturday so see you there bye